continuing on in our series of the finer details of kata, today we're going to talk about Pasai Sho. Uh, Pasai Sho is a kata that a lot of people seem to ignore the positioning, the way the body operates and manipulates in the techniques is part of that kata. You have to keep in mind that from what we know, the Pasai family of kata come from Kung Fu uh, or Chung Fa from China. So they're a little bit more circular, a little bit more flowy than some of the harder style of karate kata, such as maybe uh, kusaku is a prime example. But there's a lot of twisting motion in the human body, and that's important. Uh, with pasai sho and pasai dai, I see a lot of students that try to rush through the katas. They just want to get through them as fast as possible. You should be focusing on the individual way the body generates and creates that mass amount of power in the techniques. We're going to go through some of the finer details of Pasai show in terms of how it goes. Uh, when you're looking at some of the things that we do, there will be techniques you won't be able to see, which I'll try and explain to you or show you off to the side as well. So that being said, this is Pasai show with some of the finer details. Now, once again, this is a walkthrough design for people that already know the kata. It's not a teaching method of teaching this kata. To learn the kata, you have to be in the dojo. You have to train under a sensei to get it. Okay? So it starts in Kesuke, right? And then you say, Pasai Sho! And then you're going to put your toes together and start with that hidden technique. Now, I see a lot of people have their thumb here, here, here. I really don't see a lot of emphasis on where that goes, but for me, I like to put my thumb on top of the thumb because that's how I was taught. The opening motion, you're going to open the gate. You're going to move that foot. And then you slide forward, and when you slide forward, your hands are going to come directly up. And make sure you're facing to the front, not to the side. Your hands are going to come directly up into this position. Notice that particular angle right there. It shouldn't be here, shouldn't be here, shouldn't be like this. It should be perfect on the angle as far as that goes. Then you're going to rotate on the hip. This hand goes right to this block here. And then you're going to twist your body. Notice the twisting motion and block again with this one. You're going to rotate on your heel, slide that front foot out, strike across the body. Notice it comes right from the chamber up like this. And then you're going to set down your cat stance and block. Notice I didn't do a swing. I went straight to the block. Stepping back into a shiko, you're going to pull down and up. Step into that cat stance, block across the body. You're actually blocking here, not here. Okay, more of a 45. But your body's here. Okay, and then you're going to twist as you do this. Drop your heel, stand up, teacup hand. You're going to hit with the hammer fist. This is your key eye punch. Left leg steps out, lean, lining this up perfectly, pull right into the block. Make sure that block's not in front of your face. I see a lot of that. It's out here. And then slide back up, hip punch. Left leg steps out, lean and block again. Step directly into your cat stance, dropping the hands straight down into that knife hand. Don't swing straight down. Step forward. Just switch the hands. This one points at the elbow. And again, you're going to step back, maintain your cat stance. This hand comes from underneath, and this one comes up, and then they set, and they're here. I always tell everybody, do your knife hands, and then turn the palms over. It makes an easy way to learn how to do that. Then you're going to twist on this motion here. Grab, knee, standing tall, knuckle to knuckle. Turn, cat stance, step out, bring it straight from here to that knife hand. Step forward, straight into that knife hand. Heels come back, arms come up and block. Then you're going to step forward into that cat stance. You're going to do two, two knuckle strikes. Step, set. Don't progress. Punch with your right hand with a good solid hit. Now we're going to slide forward and then just bring our hand to down block and middle out block higher back here. Rotate around, keeping your chic up, double fist low. Don't touch, just put it right there. From your hip, you're going to pivot to a cat stance with a hammer fist, striking solid with that. Don't do this big arcing thing, just right there in the hip. Execute your front kick into a front stance, drop the elbow into that strike, just like that. Then you're going to rotate down. This is the technique I was talking about over right here. Then you switch, switch. Chamber knuckle to knuckle, slightly lean forward and do your square punch. Stand back up, knuckle to knuckle, sweep out, slightly lean forward with your square punch. Notice that you're actually looking underneath this arm here. Step back up, knuckle to knuckle, sweep out, 
square punch again. Keep your right leg where it is, pivot around, strike and hit. Don't do this big swinging motion. Strike and hit. Pivot your weight, strike and hit, just like before. This split's going to slide back up, stepping out at a 45 from under the arm, and it's set. As you do this motion, turn your stance here and everything, and you're going to re-chamber looking over your shoulder behind you. Drop your heel and set. Then keep your gaze here, assumption, toes together, hands together, proper position. And then back to the front, toes apart, and right. And then go back to your way. But that's plus I show with some of the finer details in it. Uh, we don't really cover that until I get students in my dojo that can perform the kata. Then we improve it on small incremental steps. We don't do a whole fix this, fix that, fix this. We just fix one thing at a time. And then eventually, you know, over the course of the study, you got a solid kata. And it's done properly. It's done the shorn con way. Anyway, thanks for listening. I hope this helps. We'll cover more kata as we go through in the finer details. Once again, these videos are the second level a video on our kata that talk about finer details, simple things that have to be fixed, simple things that have to be done a certain way. They're intended for students who already know the kata. Talk to you guys soon.